Just don't take it. That one is wrong. Look what's happening. Save, let's get back in there. Well, I'm here with manager Glenn Clarence, assistant manager Danny Alsop, first team coach Ben Hadfield and goalkeeping coach Dan Newton following the 4-3 victory over Belper United in the East Midlands Counties League. Uh, before we start the podcast, I'm sure you'll join me in um, uh, wishing well our press officer Tony Squires, who's unfortunately unwell at this moment in time. We'd like to see him all down at the town ground here supporting the Lions as soon as possible and our thoughts are with him and his family at this moment. And uh, Ben, it was the first game back after uh, Halloween, was the last time we played, but it didn't feel like it today. No, I agree, uh, Chris. It was um, it was obviously um, a tough game on a, on a heavy pitch, as you're going to get this time of year against tough opponents. Um, but the lads have been working hard in training, the sessions that I've come in and took, um, even though we've not been playing, still been working hard in training. Um, and although there are a few of them flagging um, at certain points in the game, I think adrenaline uh, drove them through, and I thought we we looked pretty fit to be fair for to say it's been that long um, without playing. So I thought our midfield were were, um, were really good at times, especially Jordan Moore, a special mention for him. And uh, you mentioned fitness there. It might have been a concern because obviously we've not played in, uh, since the 31st of October. This is Belper's fourth game in December now. Um, but fitness wasn't really a concern today. I know you're pleased at how well the players have reacted um, during the break. Yeah, really pleased. Really, really pleased with them today. Um, like I said, I think they're going to be, be some sore legs um, tonight and tomorrow morning. But um, they deserve a little break now and then um, go again for for the next match but um, I think we'll probably try and get a training session in before then and, and, um, and keep working hard and hopefully they come back fresh and ready to go again. And uh, Danny, uh, we had chances to uh, make the game a little bit more comfortable for ourselves at the start of the second half. I think it was Josh Bullock and Lewis Weaver um, who had chances right at the start of the second half. And Belper weren't really in uh, the second half until Dean Oliver's red card. So that must be pleasing up until that point. Yeah. You've just hit the nail on the head there, Chris. Uh, I, I thought we, we managed the game well. I thought we were, we were the winners in the end as well. Um, but unfortunately, Dean got sent off. I think it's a reaction from not getting his foul on him to start with. So, yeah, but chances, um, they come and go. We, t we took some. We took. I mean, Keno's strikes were first class. So, But that's what you can do. We know we can do that. Um, but, yeah, I thought... Like Ben just said, fitness. I thought we managed the game well. To, like I say, to say we've not played for so long, uh, I, I was really impressed. Um, like I say, people are coming back from injuries now. We've had a we've had a good rest, so uh, the squad's looking all right. But uh, 
we need to sort of discipline out a little bit. We we seem to be getting red card after red card at the moment, but um, some somebody tried to try to even the game up. I think, but um, uh, I thought that in overall, overall I thought we were the winners. In football, we scored. Guess what? We're getting time in this. All the time in this. Well done, boys! Yeah. I'd say I was enjoying a nice cup of tea, but I'd be lying. You got your hat, James? You got your hat? Brilliant. Why are you filming it? Because I've come out a bit late, haven't I? I can hang it. Hang on. Oh, just miss any of it. Yeah, James, what's that, boy? And Glenn, we've, we've talked uh, at some points during the season about the resilience in the side. We went 1 0 up today, we pegged back at 1 1, went 2 0 up, 2 1 up, sorry, went back to 2 2 before taking the lead again in the second half. The reaction of the players uh, surely is something that is very positive. Yeah, I think sometimes you need a bit of luck as well. Um, Chris and I think we probably got that with the fourth goal. It looks great, but I don't think he meant it. Weaves, um, but yeah, resilience. I, I was surprised. Like as you've said, they've they've been playing over the break. We haven't. We haven't played in something like nine weeks. And as Ben said, adrenaline. I think I don't think it was fitness. They just wanted to get them three points and fair play to them. There were some elastic ditch tackles towards the end. Um, I don't think it's. I don't think either of them are red cards in a million years, and I don't think it's a penalty in a hundred million years. But. That's what it is, no comment on that. Um, but yeah, big three points, it's probably what we needed. And we wouldn't have got it before the break. I think the break came at the right time for us. Um, hopefully there's not another break because we want to play and we want to kick on, but we want to play in a season that's going to finish and we want to play in a season that's not going to play one game every 15 weeks. So God knows, but yeah, we, we can't ask any more of the lads. Players still missing, players playing with injuries. I've got... Two of my old front two as centre midfielders ended up with three centre, three strikers as centre midfielders for the last 20 minutes. So can't ask any more, Chris. And obviously get well soon, Tony. And uh, Dan, a new goalkeeper at the back today, Adam Jablonski, uh, a very vocal presence at the back tonight today, and uh, made some very key saves in the first half, especially. Yeah, I did. I think um, you know he settled in pretty quick. Like I say, he's really vocal, which I think at times we lack. A um, bit of an old head in there as well, you know, so it's going to help us out no end. And um, yeah, I think, you know, every, every, everything really was pretty good for him, all his handling. He had, you know, quite well worked. Um, probably a bit disappointed not to save the penalty because I think he got quite close to it. But yeah, yeah, happy, happy with that debut from him. And um, just hope we get the consistency in that position now. Absolutely. And uh, Glenn, we're playing these again next Saturday away from home. Are we looking to now kick on to try and get into those uh, promotion spots? Yeah. Hey! A few months ago, um, well deserved. We need a couple of days off, possibly trade. We've got some top, top players. It was, as expected, a very good game today. Um, apparently four shots, four goals, so let's hope we have six shots for six goals. OK, and uh, we look forward to the game next Saturday against Belp United, and have a great New Year, guys. Cheers, Chris. Save. Well done, boys! Hey, well done, boys!